Selamat pagi! Alright, so just as I promised everyone in my VLT1 Pro review, today I'm making a very quick video explaining about all the features inside the Chinese app. This is not a video about how to get the Chinese app. I'm assuming you know how to do it already if you're in Android. You go ahead and take a look at your box. There's a QR code there. And if you're on iOS, you need to download this using a Chinese Apple ID. And that's actually quite tricky to do and make now but you go ahead and check uh, how to do that online Google is your friend and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you find any of these useful so now I'm gonna get my hands away and on the right side of the screen I will put everything that I've translated today so you guys have a visual idea of what means what and let's start with the first section here we have three sections yeah on the first one we have the battery levels of each of the stuff here and first of all we see here this is called Wei Pei Tai. Sorry if my Chinese uh, pronunciation is not very good here, but this means that it is not being worn. And let's say if I cover it this way, and you will see that Yi Pei Tai, and that means that is being worn. So this is if you turn wear detection on. And now down here you can see Da Yue Ke Chong San Si. This means that the case can give a full charge of three times to these earbuds. All right, so we're moving on to the next section here. This is the equalizer slash active noise cancellation toggle here. First is this thing called Zi Ding Yi EQ Yin Xiao. This is like a custom EQ sound effect. That's what it literally means. This is the Yuan Sheng, that means the original sound. And on the left side is Di Yin, that means bass. And this one is a treble EQ. Right here is like kind of a more EQs that say skengtuo and here you have tons of different stuff including like jazz music, old classical music, pop music, R&B and stuff like that you can play around with that and then you can tap on the here to customize like this one is called Gaoji EQ Shizhi that means the advanced EQ settings so there you have it you can like customize your own EQ settings with all the hertz there and this one is Bao Chun and Ying Yong that means save and apply so we tap on that, that means saved successfully, and now we can go back. That's basically it, let's move on to the next section, which is the MAF Tiao Tao. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but MAF here, I believe it stands for My Audio Filter. This is basically customize the noise of my audio filter. So here we have Guan Bi, that means closed or off, <laughs> sorry. It literally means, you know, it's closed. And uh, on the right side, we have Jian Ting, that means uh, transparency mode. I think that's literally means it's easier for you to listen. If you hear Jian Ting Mo Shi, that means it is on transparency mode. And on the left side, it means Jiang Cao. Jiang Cao Mo Shi means active noise cancellation mode. So let's move on to the third and final section here. This is the settings and we have a lot. I'm not gonna translate all these uh, small writings, but the main stuff here, this one is Quan Neng. Uh, <laughs> I hope I read that correctly, but this means full control mode. So this is what comes out of the box. You gotta turn it on and this is what you get. And I've explained about all these in my full review, so make sure to check it out. But basically this means your left side earbuds and your right side earbuds if you hit it two times, I mean, tap on it two times, it will play or pause, and then it will answer or decline a phone call. Same thing for the right side. And also tap and hold for two seconds that will trigger the MAF. Same thing for the right side and also decline a phone call there. With the advanced mode, you're unlocking these one tap and three taps. And on the left side, you are increasing the volume with one tap and decreasing the volume with three taps. And on the right side, you are skipping to the next song with one tap and go into the previous song with three taps. Basically, that is about it. You can tap on this one, 我已了解, that means I have understood. All right, now let's move on to the next one. This one is 地延市模式. I really hope I read that right. And that means low latency mode. So here, when you turn it on, you have music, 音乐 in the center, 视频 on the right side, which means video, and 游戏, which means games on the left side. So you have a little bit of description here, and I have tested all the three different modes in their respective use cases, so make sure to check out my full review to know more how it performs. And let's move on to the third one, 这定义按键功能, that means custom button 
function. And the point of this section is to customize the two second hold. Whether you want the left side or right side, they are separate of each other, by the way. On the right side, right now, I'm setting it to uh, trigger voice assistant. Or you can set it to MAF, let's say you only want the right side when you hold it for two seconds, it goes into Jianting, that means transparency mode. You can only check that and not check the ANC. And on the left side, you can do the otherwise. So this way, you always know that you hit two seconds on the right side, it will go to transparency, and two seconds on the left, it will go to ANC. But I'd rather have every control covered. So on the right side, I put on Siri, and on the left side, I'm toggling between ANC, transparency mode, and the mode off. Actually, you can do that here. All right, so let's move on to the last one that you can toggle, and this is RG Pei Tai Kan Ying. I'm pretty sure I messed up the intonation there, but this is basically earbuds wear detection. And below that, you have Gu Jian Sheng Ji, that means software update. And right now, if you see this, Yi Geng Xin Dao. This means it has been updated to the latest software. And on the last one, this one is that means other settings or more settings. And this here, actually the first one is pretty useful. It's <laughs> Hopefully I read that correct there. And here basically you can customize the touch sensitivity and it's very straightforward there. You just swipe this up and down. Normally it is on the tongue or the middle. And if you want it to be more sensitive, you can set it to high, gao here, and on the lower setting D. And what's beautiful here is that left side and the right side, you can customize it independently of each other, which is good. And after you customize the settings, do not forget to press on this blue button, which means ding or confirm. So you press on that and that's basically it. All right, so onto the last two settings here. These are basically reset um, toggles. On the first one, you have Huifu Tongbu. That means you forget all the paired devices that has been paired to this earbud. So basically, if you press on Ding, that means uh, confirm, it will forget all the devices that it's been paired to. But if you need to factory reset it, then this one, Huifu Chueren Shizhi. More than. <laughs> oh my goodness. You will reset or reset. Ooh, interesting. This is actually in English now. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This will reset all the settings that you've made, including the customizations or whatnot, but not the information of paired devices. So click on OK there if you want, but I'm going to click on cancel on this one. So that is pretty much it for the app. I hope this video really helps. On the top right side here, basically there's a music player, but I don't know, I never use it. Why would I use the Feel app to play my music? I have Spotify and Apple Music, but whatever. So that is pretty much it for the Feel Plus app. I hope this was useful. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you have more questions about the Feel T1 Pro. And that is gonna be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I really hope I could see you in the next one, okay? That's been it for the video. I'm Kenneth, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.